Today, we're gonna build a window. With its unique radiator mounted pump, premium sleeve tubing, infinity mirror RGB block, and cam software control, the Kraken M22 all-in-one liquid cooler from NZXT is the perfect choice for small form factor liquid cooling. To learn more, click the link in the description below. <clears throat> All right. So I need to still do window trim and I have to paint those bricks. So I, I, I figured I'll paint the inside of this so this can be drying before I do the actual window trim, which I got more pieces of because if you remember in our last episode of Jay doesn't know how to build anything, I cut one of the trims backwards. And so the 45s went the wrong way. So let's see if by the end of this video, if I don't have what would appear to be a convincing window. But Jay, why do you want a window? Because many of you guys missed the bedroom set I used to have. You like that home feel, so I figured why not fake it? And if there's one thing that I learned, so Terry Crews took me to the set of Brooklyn Nine-Nine at the uh, CBS Studios back lot. And I got to spend about 13 hours there with the, not only the cast, but the crew. The crew especially, I, I didn't care about the cast, we know the truth, with the exception of Terry Crews, I mean, he's pretty cool. But what's funny is he, sh he took me all around the police station, took me in the back lot, took me in some of the, like, the, jail, the jail room and jail cell interrogation room and all that sort of stuff. And he, he said something that's very, very true and it resonates with me while I'm building this. He goes, it all looks so real on TV. He's like, but when you get close and you start looking at it up close, it's pretty bad, right? This, this would never pass as a bedroom. So we're really hoping that as the uh, depth of field sort of kicks in and all the walls are decorated with bookshelves and desks and computers and plants and, and lighting and all that stuff that there will be so much attention drawn away from the wall that you won't really notice. The reason why you notice these seams is one, this is hardboard, it's not drywall, which would have probably arguably been better, and this is popping out, which would have arguably been better, um, this is lightweight and thin material. The problem is, is it's real wavy and Bowie. Not David Bowie though. So it's one of those things I'm, I'll probably use a different material on the next set we build, but I'm just too far in to start over on this one. Let's just hope at the end of the day, it's convincing enough, because that's, that's all I can hope for. So the first coat of white is on. I forgot brushes. I have to go back to Home Depot anyway to get some touch of gray for that corner over there. Not touch of gray, like what's in, what looks like it's in my hair. Uh, but anyway, here's what the trim looks like when it's gonna go up there and kind of fill in those gaps. I don't wanna touch it with the paint right now, but. So as you can see, yes, I, I realize there's lots of knots in this two by four that I, that I wasn't paying attention to which way I was putting it when I mounted it. So yeah, it's gonna be all naughty. It's gonna be a naughty window. So anyway, when you can imagine now with the trim going all the way around, that's really gonna finish it off. And then there's gonna be blinds and curtains and a curtain rod. It's really gonna sell it, I think. It's gonna look like a real window. We've gotta go ahead now and paint. While that first coat is drying, we need to go ahead and paint these bricks. And then while this is drying, I should have time to run to the home depot to get more. So this doesn't need to be perfect though. This just needs to look like old lofty tile type of building that's had painted brick and is starting to look a little aged. In fact, I'm not gonna try and even get down into the grout because I think a lot of people wouldn't really do that. I mean, at least we didn't when we had brick fireplace that we painted. We'll, we'll leave it to Phil to find some interesting way for me to share this with you. So there is our rustic looking pillar, complete with the college student paint job. That's what I'm calling it. Um, intended to look like crap. I want it to look like a weathered piece of brick. You know what I mean? That's been painted a bunch of times. I'm not kidding. My old house that I used to live at uh, when I first started my channel had brick exterior, like, like, a, like a trim. It had been painted so many times, it looked just like this. <laughs> So, so what we're gonna do, I'm gonna do another coat of paint on that windowsill, set the fan up on it, and then we're gonna go get some brushes and a little bit of touch-up paint for the gray, because I'm out of gray. And 
maybe this stuff will be ready to go up by then. So let's go. Okay, so as you can see, we got the trim in here. I haven't filled it in with putty or anything. I don't think I'm gonna bother. Honestly, you're not gonna be able to see it in camera. You can probably barely even see it from where you're sitting right there. But I, uh, I got really lucky because these are some faux blinds that I got from Home Depot, which means they're fake wood or simulate wood. And this opening, hey look, trim pieces. This opening is 46 and 5 eighths big. These are 46 inch blinds. <laughs> Look at that. So that's going to work out pretty well once we put these blinds up here. And then the other thing we're going to hang is going to be a curtain rod. I got a curtain rod and I got two of these 84 inch panels that we're going to scrunch up together. <clears throat> but as you can see, they're very close to the color of the carpet and they're kind of a shimmery color. So we think it'll catch some of the light when we set it up to be very moody. And then of course these are going to be up on the side. And yeah, I think this is really starting to come together. For a guy like me who does not do interior design, I'm surprised this is even somewhat passable as a room, as long as it stays up there. Good news is I don't have to wonder where the studs are because I can see them. We have a small problem, huh? Okay, you wanna see what the problem is? Are you ready for what the problem is? <laughs> That's your problem right there. <laughs> All right, so one of the things I wanna do too is I wanna put a curtains up. Just, I mean, I don't know. We've been really conflicted on this and whether or not we wanna do curtains. So we're trying these guys out from Ikea. We just went to Ikea and spent a ton of money on the furniture for this place. But I wanna see how this is going to look. One of the things I might have to do though is I might have to space out those rods. I don't know, we'll see. But the curtains that I got seem to just lay perfectly straight, which is obviously what we want. One thing I didn't do though is I didn't get the little ball that goes on the end. I forgot that, so I have to use a zip tie for now. That's okay, let me see how these lay. Oops, hit the wall. And if the length is right on these. Ho oh, ho, baby. Uh, that's wow, that was luck. <laughs> that wasn't even intentional. All right, so yeah, I mean, do in things and curtains. So anyway, we've got some furniture to start putting together because otherwise this is just a cube of nothing. So I'm gonna put together some furniture and see how it looks. We finally got our first apartment. Oh. Nice. Part of the Dude, try it, seriously. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's, like, it's like cardboard carbon fiber. So after nearly a week of work, learning as I went, without any real plan, I sort of built as I went, I know that kind of shows probably, this is what we've got. So we got a bunch of furniture in here today, it's all Ikea. I'm not a fan of Ikea, but man, does it get the job done, especially for a set like this. Billy bookshelves, lack uh, floating shelves there, which is gonna be my GPU shelf. These two wire shelves, which look neat. This is a uh, Beckett desk. And the idea here is that we can shoot from a bunch of different angles. Of course, we've got our fake window back there. And uh, yeah, oh, and that chair is probably my favorite. I don't remember the name of that chair, I'm sorry, but that uh, sitting chair, that armchair that I was just in, sitting chair, it's better than the standing chairs. Um, I like that chair so much, I'm probably gonna buy one for my own uh, home office at home. But anyway, th the idea here is that this set is gonna be used for not just talking head, but showcasing, um, maybe some small like hands-on stuff here, like we talk about like, who's this cooler, blah, 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 like unboxings, things like that. Um, 
I just always wanted a space, uh, this, this, it's a flex space. It's the best way to put it. It's a flexible space that we can do whatever we want with. We can shoot from different angles. Like Phil, come around over here. So if Phil was to go over there, and we'll do this live so you guys can see how the setup would sort of be. And I scoot closer to him and he opens up that aperture. It's only an F4, uh, yeah. but uh, if we go with like our art lens, which not only is uh, like up to what, 1.8 or 1.6, something like that, we go down to like F2.5 or something and I don't move, then you get this ultra nice depth of field which makes the space feel even bigger. But like I said, this room is bigger than the one I started my YouTube channel in. So I had a really hard time figuring out how to fill it out. So that is what it looks like. So let's go ahead and break the third wall and let's step out of the set. Maybe we should just start by panning up. Well, the other way. <laughs> yeah. So this is what you, oh, and one of the panels did fall down. So whoever, whoever went ahead and took that bet, you win. But anyway, we'll figure it out. We'll figure out how we're gonna mount. That was just, I was curious if it would work and it didn't. So yeah, we can, you can see we've got this ultra contrasty black and white theme going on. I still have to put pictures on the wall. I think I'm gonna do pictures of my, my Camaro because it's white and black, which will fit in here nice. We have some plants to put in here. You know, we've got um, the very first of product placement, which I just had that in the car. Yes, I was driving over the 10 ATI in the car, I'm sorry. Put that there, I don't know, ta-da. So I, we still have to decorate the thing. I was saying in the live stream that I did on Twitter that this, putting together the framework, like, the framework being the desk, the chair, the carpet, the shelves, the window, the walls, the chimney, which isn't a chimney, the pillar. That's easy for me. Now that I have to fill in the blanks, it's kind of like, I don't know what to do. So, this is where I'm gonna start involving the women of my life. I'm going to get my wife to help me with putting things, places, and uh, Brian's wife, and, oh man, I'm probably gonna be spending some time on Pinterest. Is that still a thing, like Pinterest? Do people still pin things? Do they still? I don't know, whatever. All right, I wanna go. It's Memorial Day weekend. I'm taking a three-day weekend. Uh, we have worked tirelessly while also trying to make regular content, which also we have to get back to next week. We'll probably film some things in here and at the old studio. We still have to set up all the lighting, bring the camera work, and this is one of three sets and it's still not done. So that gives you an idea of how much work we have to do. So with that said, I'm gonna go. I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. It's so believable. <laughs> So much room for activities. <laughs> <laughs> you got any of them free GPUs?